sourdough bread and uh, bread and uh, modified my recipe slightly. Um, mostly because I don't have two Dutch ovens, I only have one. So I thought I would try baking them in a regular bread pan, bread loaf pan, and they turned out fine. I'll probably keep modifying that recipe until I'm totally happy with the results. Uh, the other thing I did yesterday, of course, was make some more apple chips. So basically, I used my little uh, apple peeler core and uh, on a bag of apples and put them in the dehydrator and uh, the result is what I uh, didn't eat is this nice, probably a quart, because this is a quart and a half, jar of apples. And I can tell you for a fact that this will not last long at all. I eat them like candy. So on to the next product. The dehydrating uh, put me in mind of perhaps dehydrating carrots. So that is what I'm going to do today. And I've got my fancy in, fancy, um, what do you call these? Anyway, they'll make the slices for me. Um, a mandolin, yes, yes. I bought this years ago. Never really use it. I tried to once or twice. Uh, the blade just wasn't sharp enough. I think that was the problem. Anyway, my husband has recently purchased a, a knife sharpener and some stones for sharpening knives, so I asked him to try the, to sharpen a little, the one flat blade that comes with this, it also has a, a number of other fancy blades, but if I can get flat slices, I'll be more than happy, so, um, I did try it, and I can get slices, so I'm going to attempt to use it. This was not a cheap mandolin, however, I get the impression a cheaper one might have done the job just as well. So at this point, I'm going to peel some carrots, and then I'm going to use the mandolin to create slices. Oh, the slices are pretty thin. adjust that a little thicker. Yeah, that's... I'm happy with that. What you do have to be careful with, though, is that these things are dangerous. Okay, so I have my water boiling. And I've also got a bowl of ice water ready. So we'll plunge these into the boiling water and blanch them just for a couple of minutes. I have canned carrots in the past. I actually did one whole bushel one year. The most beautiful carrots I've ever seen. They were farm fresh, tender, sweet. Unfortunately, something like that is best eaten fresh rather than canned. Okay, I'm going to take those out right now and plunge them in a nice water bath. I 
because as I said, I really don't want to cook these. Just wanted to blanch them. And at this point, I just want to cool them down quickly. And I'm not so worried about these being a little bit on top of each other based on the fact that they're really thin, but you really do want to spread them out as much as you can. I only have so many trays. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Use them all. That one does seem to be the most full, we'll put it at the bottom. And this one is the less, least full, we'll put it at the top. Okay, we'll get back to you after these have dried, perhaps in a day or so, or perhaps later on tonight. Okay, so I dehydrated the carrot slices that I made on the mandolin. Can't say I'm terribly thrilled with the way they turned out. They're very fine, very thin. So this batch, I'm, you know, uh, these are obviously usable, but so the next batch I'm going to try doing the old carrot coins, which are quite a bit thicker than what the mandolin cut them, and uh, dehydrate those and see how they turn out. I'll use the same method. I will be blanching them for a few minutes and then dehydrating. Uh, right now I'm just slicing them up. So, using the old knife method. I don't know that using the mandolin is any less tedious. So you get a whole lot more slices. They're just much, much finer. And I don't think I can adjust the mandolin to get this thick slices and have it work it tends to be a little bit hard on the tool there, whereas a knife will go through just about anything, especially a carrot. Okay. Got a few more to slice up and then we'll be right back. Okay, so my water is boiled and I'm going to blanch the carrots oh, for a few minutes. quite a bit thicker than the uh, mandolin sliced ones. Hopefully they'll produce a nicer product in the end. Okay, so the uh, carrots have... Uh, I've cooked them for about three minutes, blanched them for three minutes, and I've rinsed them with cold water, and now I'm going to spread them out on the dehydrator trays. 
And at this point, we do just want one layer because they're certainly much thicker than what they, what the original batch were. This will provide a better product in the end, but we'll just have to see. Okay. And we still have two more trays, and that will be just fine. set this on the dehydrator for at 125, 130 and check it overnight. Okay, well these seem to have hydrated quite nicely. I think I do uh, very much prefer cutting the carrots at about a quarter inch, between an eighth and a quarter inch thickness. <clears throat> and they do hydrate very nicely, so I will pack these into a separate jar, and I probably will make quite a bit of these. Okay, that is my quart and a half jar, and as you can see, to fill this up, I'll have my work cut out for me. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.